Hello, everyone. Now I will show you how to configure your Huawei router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will restart and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into an Ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's move on to the setup process. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the very beginning, you will see a form to enter the password. Usually, it is admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. So, first of all, right here you can choose the language for your router settings. I'll leave it as English, but you can set whichever language is most comfortable for you. Next, you need to check this little box to confirm your choice. Once you've done that, click the button that says, let's get started. On this page, you'll see an option to enable automatic updates for your router. Auto update is recommended because it makes sure you always have the most up-to-date features security patches, and a smoother overall experience. When this option is enabled, the router will automatically install available updates if it's not in use between 3 to 5 a.m. Personally, I don't want my router to update its firmware on its own, so I'll select the option Manually Install Updates. 
This way, I'll be able to decide exactly when I want to update. On the next page, you'll need to set your Wi-Fi network name and password. In this field, type in the name of your Wi-Fi network. And in this field, enter the password you'd like to use. You'll also see an option here to create a password for accessing your router settings panel. Type your password in this field, and then confirm it by typing it again in the second field. There's also a convenient option to use your Wi-Fi password as the router's admin password. If you'd like to do that, just check this box. Make sure that your password is between 8 and 32 characters long so that it meets the security requirements. Once you've filled everything in, click the next button. On the next page, you'll be asked to select your network mode. In most cases, you don't need to change anything here. Simply click the next button to continue. We're almost done with the setup now. At this stage, the router will restart and apply your new settings. Wait a couple of minutes for the router to fully reboot and start working again. If you are connected to the router via Wi-Fi, you'll now need to reconnect using the updated network name and password you just set. Once you've reconnected, click Next to continue. Now it's time to check if the internet is working. Just open your browser and try searching for something on Google. If you still don't have internet access, don't worry, you may just need to clone your MAC address. To do this, log back into the router's admin panel using your new password. Go to the menu called Connect to Internet. From the drop-down menu, select PC MAC address, then click the Save button. After that, you'll need to restart your router. To do this, go to the Home menu. And click this button right here. Confirm your choice by clicking OK. Wait a couple of minutes while the router reboots and turns back on completely. Now check again if the internet is working, just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, at this point you'll need to contact your internet provider. They will be able to tell you exactly what type of connection your router should use and provide any additional settings that are required. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.